Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's do something incredible. With only a few clicks, we're going to use AI to generate long form article that eventually might help us with some SEO as well as driving traffic to the website. I've personally tried many different sort of AI tools, but this one, it's one of a kind. They're incredible, don't get me wrong, but you still need to take some time to come up with the paragraphs that make sure they are right and then you have to combine them right into a puzzle. So in this video, let's generate an article with a few clicks however we need to know what direction we're gonna head to since this channel is all about starting a small business so let's just type this keyword called how to start a small business maybe at online more specific here and let's open these pages hopefully there's some blog articles out here that we can study their h2 to help us to come up with the structure of these 1500 word plus article once you have the wordplay account you have four different modes however today we're going to touch on outline mode keyword mode is super simple basically enter an active keyword and the project name and some description it will write you an article based on the keyword for example in here let's grab this key phrase and paste it in here and then you can see that article one estimated word is 1000 however we don't have the structure control on the article that's why we come out we do the second mode which is outline mode this way we're going to give them the same article title which is this one and remember you want to do this open ending what do i mean by that is that if your final article name is something really unique and you want to grab attention and so forth that's meant for human then you probably want to tweak it around what is the essence of your article write it to a point that ai can understand and amplify and expand on and then here we'll have article sections and this is the moment we're going to go through these uh, blog articles we're going to pull some of the h2 titles to combine into a paragraph first one here you can see that uh, MailChimp here something called identify your audience I'm going to paste that section here and here is create your website and I'm going to paste that section on the second line choose relevant domain freaking love it and next one and remember this is for demonstration purpose I'm not going to post this article anywhere else just to demonstrate to you guys that how incredible this tool is and here save money by building your own website see this kind of elaborated terms we don't need it and let's go there what to avoid obviously you don't want to copy this kind of h2 headlines because AI doesn't understand like what are you trying to say like avoid what right here's another article by Uberloo you see they're trying to go creative here don't go with these kind of titles choose a building model this is incredible choose a business model so let's go with let's do this order build model identify audience create your website and uh, domain let's put a domain on the third one and then build a website so you can see here that roughly our estimated word count and right now so far I can just end it here right it will generate a 600 word article for me however let's amplify it a little bit further so let's push it towards 1000 or 1500 word here okay okay let's grab this one set up your payment methods because um, after setting up the website probably we need to set up a payment method right I've passed quite a bit of an article and then I landed a couple of them this one is from bigcommerce.com uh, so here identify products people are passionate about that's a pretty cool headline it's a little bit more specific but let's I like this one find products with a branding potential that's something that we can throw it in the mix and now move on to the next website which is entrepreneur.com email marketing which is a really good one to mention here right and so far let's check it out one two three four five six seven there are seven uh sub headlines that we inserted here and that's going to generate an article around 1050 words okay and keep that in mind this is for our marketing research what i really did is i passed through about 10 different blog articles and I pull the best headline that I want to combine them into these formats this structure right eventually when the blog has been populated I'm going to change these terms to my own so this way the content itself is 100% unique right and now let's just click on proceed and submit to the job so this process took literally less than 10 seconds and now we're good to go again a couple options you can go with the HTML a title and body download so you can deploy it as a source code into your platform so it will populate it just like blog articles and in here let's just view this article to see what kind of this is what it populated 
again, 1,050 words in total. And now don't just go straight copy paste and load it on your website. We're not done yet. We obviously want to double check on the quality of this article and keep this in mind that at this stage, I'm not over the moon in terms of like the article, right? Because yeah, great, it came up with a 1,000 word, but we want to make sure the quality of it um, reached the standard, okay? The few things you can do from here is basically it came up with a structure and some verbiage. You can go in there to tweak individual words, read individual sentence to make sure they make sense. And there might be some grammatic error or something like that, some weird sounding terms. You can just correct that, go through it once. It might take you 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but guess what? Still better than you writing 1000 words one by one, right? And the second method I wanna use here is a GPT-2 output detector because a lot of these um, AI-based tools, they're using a technology called a GPT-2 or Dash 3 depends on if it's newer technology or older ones. Apparently the dash three is incredible, but, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna randomly copy a few paragraphs from this article. You can do individual check, but I'm just gonna randomly grab a few and to see uh, if this detector tells me if this is written by AI or it's written by human. You see this small little uh, paragraph here? It thinks it's a, uh, generated by some sort of AI thing. So again, the reason I do this is because Google really knows if your article is populated by AI tool or it's written by human, right? So in this case, what I really wanna do is probably go in there to tweak some of these sentence, add a sentence or something to make it more human sounding. However, let's copy the second paragraph here. And when I put this one in, look at this, it says 72% thinks token use it thinks it's real so you see i like to see more of these this is a really good indication of like you know stuff populated it's not like super fake you know and that will be my first layer of um just vetting this entire article and the second method is obviously copy this entire thing again and this time let's come to one of these plagiarism checker just paste your information in this box and click on i'm not a robot and check for plagiarism again i'm just pre Preventing the scenario that the word AI might just go into a website and grab that exact information and populate it here, right? You want to avoid that kind of scenario. So this way, it's a unique article. You can try out a couple of them. Here's another one. As you can see here, this first checker came out 99% unique and 1% plagiarized. So let's just say 100% unique article, right? Each line is unique. Here's the second checker. Basically, it came out 96% unique, 4%. It's very similar to this result. And the line it found is here, what type of product or service will you be providing this small little thing it's not even an issue so totally forget about it just think about this as a hundred percent unique so from there you can tell that this is a unique article right and lastly last but not least i would say let's just read about it right create your own website your website is the most important aspect of your business. It's where people will go learn about you. Look at this, and this sentence makes sense. Logically makes sense. Honestly, I would say it's a way better than my own writing. I do want to let you guys know, don't don't cheat this system, right? Don't think this is like something you can just like manipulate the entire thing. Google has a sufficient AI algorithm, so you, you can't really beat the entire system, you know what I mean? So be careful with it. Don't manipulate and just create uh, 50 different blog article and load them on your site and hoping uh, your your website might get some traffic. Sometimes if you do that, you might get penalized. There's lots of other consequences you might face. Use this as your creative and friendly tool to get you started, get you a good structure, and then obviously you want to tweak. Always put your own creative touch. And then at the end, honestly, what I would do is in copy this entire thing, some copyright-free images and load them in between the lines and boom, that's like a pretty good article to rank and then you can do any some sort of a hyperlink and you can point to any sort of a website that you want to and to help you rank better in terms of SEO. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, drop some comments below and some likes and let me know you enjoyed it. You make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any some sort of a content like this in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.